Hello Stowe community, welcome to another Starbase UGC video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to do something that I probably should have done many weeks or months ago, and that's just do a quick and dirty tutorial on map transitions. I know when I first started to mess around with the Foundry, map transitions were the most frustrating and difficult to comprehend aspect about designing my mission, um, putting stuff in the story tab and specifying where I'm going from what place to what place, how to transition from a space map to a ground map or a ground map to an interior. Those frustrated me to no end. And even after weeks of messing around with the foundry, I was still confused about map transitions. So I'm going to do this tutorial and what it comes down to in the end is something extremely, extremely simple, but it's the most non-intuitive part of the foundry that you can ask for, because it involves conjuring up something that isn't there. So we know that in the foundry, every everything has a button, right? If you want to go into the story tab you can there's a button to interact with an object there's a button to kill an enemy a talk to contact pop-up dialogue reach a marker all these things have buttons nowhere in the foundry is there a button that you can push to say hey I want to go from this map to another map rather you have to conjure that button up you have to conjure the option up you have to make it appear from nowhere, depending on what you do in your story tab. So let's go through this. I'm going to create three maps. The first one is a space map. Call it space. It doesn't matter what it is. There's my space map. I'll create a map. It'll be a interior map. Do a cave. and we'll create one more map and that will be a ground map oops ground so now i have three maps i can go from the space to the interior to the ground i could go from the ground to the space to the interior i could do this in any any order that i choose to um, but before I can specify how to do that, I have to have things in the map. So this is the take home point is never ever start with the story tab to tell your story. Start with the map tab, build your maps, put the contacts in your map, put the buildings in your map, put the objects in your map, and then go through the transitions because if you don't have anything for the player to interact with or any mission objectives that need to be completed then there's no way to conjure up that map transition option so let's go ahead we'll in the space map we'll put uh npc contact borg battleship we'll also put uh borg squadron and we'll put a detail of an anomaly. So there's three different things. There's a detail, an object to interact with, there's a contact, a talk to contact, and there's a kill enemies. Let's do one more thing and we'll add in a <coughs> place marker. And we'll do the same thing with the other maps. So I'll put in, let's go ahead and put in a place marker, we'll put in a contact, We'll put in a group of enemies. And, oops, forgot a detail. So we'll put in an alpine bush. And the last map, let's do the same thing. We'll put in a reach marker or an alpine bush or a contact or a group of enemies to fight. Once you have these things in the map, once you know what the player needs to do, um, for instance, if this is a ground map and it's kill enemies, well, you put the enemies in. If it's reach a marker, put the marker in. If it's talk to a contact, put the contact in. If it's interact with an object, put the object in. And the same is true for all these other 
maps that you have to have the objectives on the map before you even go to the story tab and once you do that everything else is really very simple so let's say my first objective is in space and I want to kill the enemies in space first so we'll put in kill enemies we can pick the enemies in space and that's my first objective is is I'm killing the enemies in space then let's add another objective in the story tab and it's to uh, scan an object and we'll pick an object in the cave so the alpine bush as soon as we pick that alpine bush we're going from we're going from kill the enemies in space to another objective and the other objective happens in a different place once we add that to the story tab then we have we have conjured up the magic map transitions tab and that allows us to specify where we're leaving from we could say we're leaving from the whole map we could specify a system that we're leaving from we could um, pick a door or um, basically pick where we want to leave from and we pick where we want to spawn at so there's the cave because my objective involves the cave so there's a spawn point in the cave let's go back to the story tab and let's just delete everything let's say I want to talk to a contact first followed by reach a marker I'll specify the contact on the ground that's my first objective and then that also conjures up the map transition tab because it says okay you're going to a specific contact and where do you want to leave from so you could leave from the whole map which is basically earth space dock or you could pick a system to leave from or a planet and you can specify the spawn point and once that happens you can talk to the contact but let's say after you talk to the contact you want to reach a marker but the marker isn't on the ground map so if it's on the space map and you pick the marker on the space map boom there's another map transition tab that you have magically conjured up so the take home point here is that in order to specify your transitions to, to say I want to go from here to here um, to somewhere else you have to put the you have to put the objects or the contacts or the reach marker or what the player has to do you have to put those things in the map and then you go to the story tab and you specify hey I want the player to do this it takes place here followed by then I want the player to do something else and it takes place here as soon as you tell the foundry that something is taking place at a different location than your previous objective that map transition tab will appear you'll be able to specify where you're going from where you're going to um, along with a couple other options associated with map transitions so you can see it comes down to something extremely simple but extremely non-intuitive so if you're trying to write your story in the story tab and you're saying oh here's the contact and I want him to interact with this object and okay how does he go to the next map well unless you have the map built and you can specify the object in the map the foundry won't be able to do that map transition but as soon as you have your maps built then you go to the story tab and you say hey I want to kill enemies which enemies do you want to kill do I want to kill the ones on the ground do I want to kill the ones in space or in the cave as soon as you tell the foundry hey I want to kill the ones on the in the cave but the previous objective takes place in space that conjures up the map transition tab and the transition options so see that's it's it's really very simple and it doesn't matter what you use 
um, in Cryptic's official tutorial, they use a talk to contact. So I think a lot of people who start out with the Foundry, they use that talk to contact or they specify a contact at Earth Space Dock or DS9 or some other location. And I think that puts them into a trap because not only do they think, oh, I have to use this contact at Earth Space Dock, how do I go to the system? How do I incorporate sector space? It makes them fall into that trap, but they also don't realize talk to contact is just one option you can you can do any other objective if it's interact with the object and the object takes place on a different map that brings up the map transition tab um, if it's kill enemies and the the enemies aren't on the map you're currently on that brings up the map transition tab so that's that's the basics of map transitions it's building the maps first, making sure you have things on the map that you can put into the story tab, and once you put them in the story tab, you can conjure up that transition option by specifying, hey player, do this that takes place at a different location. And once that's in the story tab, the map transition option appears. Okay, well I hope that helps um, a few people who are just learning the Foundry and are kind of struggling to learn the basics. Uh, please leave feedback on the forums, and especially for those who are just learning the Foundry, please come and visit us in the Starbase UGC chat room. Uh, don't be afraid to come ask us questions. There's usually somebody there 24-7 that will answer your questions. Uh, and also, please uh, help us edit Wiki UGC. Okay, thank you very much. I hope this helps some people out there. Um, good night.